Unit 5. Dates and Events. Lesson 1. When's your birthday? 2. Listen and understand. 1. How was your birthday, Andrew? It was great. Thanks. What did you do? Oh, I just celebrated at home with my mom and dad and sister. We had a big birthday cake. And I got some great presents. My parents gave me a new scooter. Oh, that's cool. But you didn't have a party? No, not this year. Two. When's your birthday, Yumi? Have you had it yet? No, it's Saturday, actually. Oh, great. What have you got planned? My family's going to have a barbecue at the park. That's what we usually do for birthdays. That sounds nice. I hope it doesn't rain. Me too. Three. Hello. Happy birthday, Linda. Thanks. But it was last weekend, actually. Oh. Did you have a nice time? Yeah. Some friends and I went to Wonder World. Great. That's a fun place. Did you try many of the rides? Yeah, we went on all of them. Four. When's your birthday, Akahiko? It's Sunday. Do you have any plans? Yeah. My girlfriend is taking me out for lunch at the seafood cafe by the harbor. Oh, that's nice. I went there once. Well, have a great birthday and enjoy the meal. Thanks. Five. Hi, Katie. I heard you had a nice birthday party on Saturday. Yeah, it was great. Thanks. A bunch of my friends came. So, what did you do? Oh, we played video games and party games, and then we sang some karaoke. It was a lot of fun, and everyone stayed really late. Three. Listen and understand. So, tell me about your school year, Emily. How many semesters do you have? Well, Jinwan, we have two. The first semester goes from August 16th to December 17th, and the second semester is from January 10th to June 2nd. I see. So, you have summer vacation in June and July? I do too. Do you like your school? I love it. We have lots of special events. For example, there's a big international festival on September 15th. Students from different countries wear their national costumes to school and perform their national dances. The best performers get prizes. That sounds nice. Then, on October 10th, we have a sports festival. That's when kids from all the international schools in Singapore get together for a huge sports competition. How exciting! Yeah. Another thing I really like is the school exchange day. We usually have that on November 1st. How does it work? Well, we spend the day at a different school. And kids from other schools come to our school. That must be interesting. It is. And I always love the music gala on February 16th. It's a whole day of concerts and performances. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> But my favorite thing about school is our international trip. From April 20th to the 25th, we always go to a nearby country. Last year, we went to Malaysia and had a wonderful time.
Four. Tune in. Part A. My parents gave me a new scooter. Oh, that's cool. My birthday is on Saturday. Oh, great. What have you got planned? My family is going to have a barbecue. That sounds nice. All the schools get together for a huge sports competition. How exciting! Four. Tune in. Part B. One. What did you do on Sunday? I tried out that new roller coaster at Wonder World. How exciting! Yeah. But my sister didn't like it. She got sick. Did she? Too bad. Two. How was your weekend? Terrific. I went to a great birthday party. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. We played some really fun party games. I love party games. Three. Did you enjoy your birthday lunch? It was wonderful, thanks. We went to a great restaurant by the harbor. That sounds nice. What did you eat? I had fried shrimp, and my girlfriend had salmon. We both got big salads too. Four. How was your barbecue? Well, my relatives all came, and we ate some terrific food. Great. Yeah, but then it started to rain. So we had to leave the park. Unit five: Dates and events. Lesson two. So when was that? Two. Listen and understand. Welcome to Celebrity Showcase. Today's quiz. Is on movie stars, and our contestants are Paul, Akira, and Hannah. Are you ready? Ready. Let's start with a question about the beautiful Chinese actress Ji Yi Zhang. How old do you think she is? Was she born in 1979 or 1981? 1981. Sorry, Paul. She was born in Beijing, China, in 1979. Next question. Ji Yi Zhang starred in the movie House of Flying Daggers. Did that movie come out in 2003 or 2004? 2004. That's right, Akira. Two thousand four. That gives you ten points. Now let's talk about the American actor Tom Cruise. When was he born? Was it in nineteen sixty or nineteen sixty two? Nineteen sixty two. Ten points for you, Hannah. Tom Cruise was born in Syracuse, New York. In 1962, his first big film was *Risky Business*. In what year did it come out? 1982 or 1983? Was it 1982? Sorry, Paul. It was 1983. Let's try one more. Tom Cruise was married to actress Nicole Kidman. For about ten years, although she grew up in Australia, Nicole Kidman was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. When was she born? Was it in 1967 or 1970? 1970. Sorry, Akira. She was born on June 20th, 1967. So the scores at the.
Three. Listen and understand. One. So, have you always lived in Boston, Sue? No, I grew up near Chicago, but my family moved here right before I started high school. And what did you do after you graduated from high school? I took a year off and traveled around Mexico. I really enjoyed it, and my Spanish is pretty good now. When I came back, I got a job with the airlines. That was in 1999. Just a year before you won your gold medal at the Olympic Games? Yes, I was selected in. Two. How did you learn to play the guitar, Jaywan? Well, I took lessons for a couple of years when I was in high school. Pretty soon, I was playing all the time, and I got first prize in a music contest at school. That's terrific. Yeah. Then some guys in town asked me to join their band. While you were still in high school? Yeah. We made our first CD, and it sold a hundred thousand copies in a month. Wow, that's amazing. So I left school. I see. So you didn't graduate from high school? No, and I wish I had. Do you think that? Three. Is it interesting to host a TV show, Laura? Yes, very. Have you always lived here in Boston? No, I spent a few years in Italy after high school, but then I came back to go to college. I see. What did you study in college? Drama. It was fun. But after college, I worked for a newspaper, writing news stories. Then I applied for a job at a TV station, and eventually I got my own show. Yes. One of the most popular shows. Four, tune in, part A. We use falling intonation when we ask a W H question. When was he born? How did you learn to play the guitar? What did you study in college? We use rising intonation when we ask a yes/no question. Are you ready? Have you always lived in Boston? Is it interesting to host a TV show? Four. Tune in. Part B. One. Tell me about your new job. Well, it's quite difficult. Do you like it? Two. It would be interesting to learn more about your country. Sure. Ask me anything you like. How do people spend their free time? Three. Tell me about your graduation. It was great. I felt so happy. Were your mom and dad there? Four. We need to talk about the party. You're right. We should make some plans. Who are we going to invite?